everyone this is caroline green from biotechnica so today i'll be talking about india's ecological diversity top five careers you can make in it suppose if anybody who loves nature and you want to go wander around and discover what's happening in the wildlife and want to get to know about those things if you're that much passionate enough to become an ecologist then this video is definitely going to help you i'll be talking about the top five career opportunity that you have as an ecologist in india so let's talk about who is an ecologist? Yes, as everybody knows who is an ecologist, I'm going to give you a brief outline of this one. And then let's talk about the top five career opportunities that you have. We know that ecologist is the person who studies about the relationship of a living organisms like plants, animals and human beings and their interaction with the environment, how a human being is actually uh, bringing about changes into the environment, how plant is bringing about changes, animal is bringing about changes. So the relationship between a living organism and the environment people who study, they are called as ecologists. And what is the role and responsibility of an ecologist? What exactly an ecologist does? Suppose if you're someone who would like to become an ecologist but do not know how to start up, then I'm going to tell you all this thing. So they are the one who actually investigates the species within the ecosystem. Suppose if I'm going to talk about a forest ecosystem. So they'll be studying about what are the different organisms and the species that are present in a particular forest ecosystem. It may, may be a plant species or it can be an animal species species also and they're going to collect all the scientific information about that specific species as well as their behavior patterns so this is the ecologist actually does and they usually do research suppose people who are ecologists used to go to different mountains like himalayas and they used to collect information about the species and uh, their origin and uh, what are the roles that it does what is the uh, useful characteristics of that specific species and is it an endangered species everything they used to take into consideration and they prepare a reports of that uh, particular species so this is going to be the roles and responsibility of an ecologist the next come, what are the branches that you can see in an ecologist? As I already told you, we are going to talk about the living organisms along with the interactions with the environment. So it can be a marine ecologist. A marine ecologist talks about an aquatic animals in association or interaction with the environment. Forest ecologist or urban ecologist mainly talks about uh, the human activities and the environment, how it is actually related, what are the problems that a human being brings and cause some damages uh, to the environment like deforestations and many things actually happens so urban ecologist actually talks about it restoration ecologist is a person suppose if there is a deforestation or forest fire or anything the person will bring about a project and he used to bring about data and he used to go in for analysis and he wants to bring back the forest conditions or any of the environmental condition back again to its original form that's the restoration ecologists usually do wildlife of course we know about it and of course if you are an environmental science student you can also become an ecologist like environmental biologist you can become these are some of the branches the next question comes for us is what are the sectors that you can enter? I'm going to talk about ecologists in India usually earns more than like most of them. A research institute you can go for or you can become an educate enter into any sort of educational institute or even you can enter a private research laboratories or even a government agencies in research institute you can go for csir laboratories or you can enter into a university and work in any kind of projects or agriculture research in department or a department of environmental affairs in our government forest department in our government indian government department of nature conservation these are opportunity which are are available but people are unaware of this government opportunities and you can also work in a national parks museum these are mainly related to the research department as an ecologist you can enter into any of these research institute of course an educational institute and if you want to go in for private research laboratory you can start as a program coordinator a program will be given to you and you have to organize the complete things about a project will be assigned for you how you're going to take care of a particular location and environmental analysis what's the condition of the present environmental condition uh, ultimately we know about the global warming that's been existing now and it's going to cause a massive attack to the entire world. We've been talking about the climate change, which is a uh, very important urge to talk about it. So this is about the private research laboratory and of course, a government agencies. 
now the question for us is yes of course i love nature but how do i become an educationalist if it's going to be in your mind then i'm going to answer it so you can actually pursue bachelor's in any degree like uh, biology after your 12th graduation if you have bsc in biotechnology microbiology biochemistry or ecology or environmental science anything and if you're going to have msc in any of these things like environmental science or even agriculture science uh, soil science ecology botany zoology forestry microbiology even a biotechnologist you can also become an ecologist yes now we understood who is an ecologist what are the branches that are available and how you can go now the most important question comes for us is i'm going to talk about the top 5 career but before going you need to know whether this is going to be a demanding field yes i'm going to tell you it's going to be definitely a demanding field because we know since the environmental is going to be affected you can see number of ecological disaster is taking place mainly because of the pollution that's been happening or because of human act activities you can see every year we are literally facing these problems there is ultimately going to be a need for an ecologist so by 2023 or by 2030 you can see there is maximum 50 percentage increase in the uh, job growth rate very specifically for the ecologist so definitely a uh, less competing field i can say but there are a lot of opportunity that you can go in for the next one comes the salary package i'm going to ta- talk about in case of india and global scenario in india initially you can be getting rupees 25000 to 179000 i'll be talking in detail also per month and in global scenario you can get almost 25 us dollar is the range you can say it is about uk if it's going to be us dollar 25000 us dollars you can actually earn as a ecologist the next comes areas and field that you can enter yes you can enter into agriculture forestry and you can enter into nature conservation pollution control board regional development environmental education and ecologies as a many roles to play if someone loves nature then you can literally welcome to enter into this field it's wonderful field and the next comes what are the top 5 careers suppose if you're thinking i want to earn more in an uh, becoming an ecologist what are the top careers that i have to think about it i'm talking about the indian scenario india's ecological diversity because we know that we have a very tremendous uh, diversity in our country so definitely you can become any of these five top careers the first is going to be a wildlife manager yes you can also become a wildlife manager what does a wildlife manager does so this person actually studies the origin of the animal very specifically because it's about wildlife so animal origin where the animal comes from how do they behave what are the diseases that can affect the animals and what's the genetic pattern of them how is the life process of an animal and also the end wildlife so these people usually talks about uh, wildlife management and they are very specialized they are usually targeted if someone who wants to become them if they want to be very specialized in a particular field then they can go for wildlife research and management courses and they can study also now the next important question for us is if i want to become a wildlife manager what are the degrees that i need to have to become it so you can be any of the bachelor's degree in environmental science biology botany zoology conservation whatever you're going to be no issues you can take up masters and this is like if you have masters you can also become a wildlife manager and very importantly suppose if you take some special courses or classes in forestry or marine biology or restoration ecology social science or research management very specifically if you have going to have some special courses then it's going to be an advantage if you have some certification course is a diploma courses then it's definitely going to fetch you this position and masters degree along with experience if you're going to have as an intern or anything then definitely you can become a wildlife manager i'm going to show you the average salary package of this one it's believed by 2027 you can literally see five years change there's definitely going to be 53 percentage increase is going to take place in case of this wildlife manager which means it's definitely going to be a wonderful opportunity if you would like to become an ex- 
ecologist so the average salary for one year you can see literally 14 lakh which means one lakh we can take it as one month you can get and you are going to get an average bonus also uh, 38,000 approximately as an entry level you will be getting 10,000 almost 12,000 we can take if you have one year of experience or three years or zero years of experience with some sort of internship or some special courses if you have done and worked as an internship or if you go and join any sort of projects very special you can go into some sort of firms and you can work in a project and gain experience and then you can also become this one senior level usually gets eight plus years of experience they used to get 18 lakh per year so this is about the complete wildlife manager the next comes restoration ecologist this is wonderful to actually work because we know the entire world is corrupted by the lot of problems that's been existing like pollution so the role is to repair the ecosystem for it, forest ecosystems or marine ecosystems or any sort of ecosystems or natural habitats that's been damaged by the human beings and these people are the one who used to repair they used to have projects and they used to execute the project they analyze the project and all this thing and you can be bachelor's or master's in any of these things. If you are bachelor's and if you have an experience or if you have your master's and if you have experience in any of these fields, then definitely you can become a restoration ecologist. The average salary in India is going to be or the lowest to highest is going to be 15,000 to 43,000 uh, per month. I'm talking about this is about the month for one month. Almost 25 to 26,000 is going to be the average if you become a restoration ecologist. This job so not only in India, the same uh, profiles are even available abroad. The next one is going to be environmental consultant. People who are from environmental science can literally go for this one. So roles, what are the roles that they do? Definitely they're going to access the environmental impact of a given company. Suppose if you're joining a company or any of the domain very specifically, you're going to talk about how the environmental impact is going to take place. What's the scenario now? So it's about consultation, right? Yes. And how to reach, how to become an environmental consultant. You can be bachelor's or master's in biology or environmental science or chemistry or geoscience, ecology or agriculture science, or whatever it is, whether you have a bachelor's and master's with little sort of experience, then you can definitely become an environmental consultant. And the average salary you can see for one year is 5,93,000, almost 6 lakh per year. I'm talking about the minimum salary. If you're going to have a good experience, definitely it will be more than this one also. The next important thing is natural resource manager. To be very specific, I'm going to tell wildlife manager and natural resource manager are more popular in the entire world. So I'm going to talk about the next one is natural resource manager. And you can see what are the roles that they play. Okay, what do they do is they plan, they coordinate activity in science, mathematics, statistics. So they used to go for some sort of questionnaire and they used to find what are the problems that exist there. And they used to plan and coordinate all the activities in all the sectors, whether it is an R&D and how to become a natural resource manager. You can do any bachelor's or master's in any of these fields like natural resource management or biology or conservation. Usually natural resource management, we don't have most of the colleges which provides that. If you have biology or environmental science or forestry, zoology, botany or geology, then definitely you can go in for this one. I'm going to show you. Uh, after 2027 or by 2027, how much is the uh, job growth rate going to be? It's going to be estimated salary by 2027, which is almost 32 lakh for one year, which means it's believed that 50 three percentage hike is going to take place which means i'm telling you the first wildlife manager job is a wonderful job and even the natural resource manager is also going to be a wonderful job if you're going to be a ecologist and for an entry level if you see it's going to be 15 lakh for one year entry level itself and if you're going to have eight plus years of experience you're going to have 27 lakh per year which means the most highly uh, demanding and a good job along with the salary fetching is going to be wildlife manager and a natural resource manager Okay, now let's talk about how to become an ecology scientist or a researcher yes this is a wonderful field if you want to become if you love nature what are the roles of course, they are the one who does research on it and how to reach this position. Of course, you need to have any of the bachelor's degree in environmental science or botany or zoology or forestry or biotechnology, microbiology, whatever it is. In master's, you need to have ecology or environmental science or microbiology. 
along with some sort of certification if you're from different stream and if you're going to have PhD in ecology along with some experience if you're going to have you can become a research scientist and how much is the average salary you can see the lowest is going to be almost 25,400 to 76,800 Indian rupee for one month which means almost 80 to 85,000 you can initially earn after completing your PhD some people used to do this after their masters with some five to seven years of experience also can become a scientist also so if i have to talk about the top five career the most demanding if you are belonging to an ecologist or ecology field then i'm going to tell you you can become a wildlife manager first one and you can become a natural resource manager a researcher or ecology scientist restoration ecologist and an environmental consultant now you might be having a question in mind, okay, if I want to go in for a government job, do I have any sort of examinations? Yes, I'm going to tell you, if you want to uh, enter into a field which actually gives you a permanent position, of course, it's going to be government jobs. You can go for UPSC examination where you can enter Indian Foreign Forest Service, IFS. Not the Indian Foreign Service, it is IFS Indian Forest Service and you can enter into any of these things like forest conservation, you can go for biodiversity and wildlife management, you can, there are a lot of positions available in these sectors and environmental issue including climate change as I told you and uh, some wildlife related crimes and afforestation, agroforestry, uh, tribal hill area development, there's a programs which has been going on, R&D, biotechnology, policy making, forest personnel and there are many many things that are available under Indian Forest Services. So we already know about UPSC examination and there are a lot of positions that are available in different streams. Suppose if you would like to take up ecology as your career and I'm going to tell you it has a lot of options if you are interested to become an ecologist because this field definitely needs a passion towards nature and this field you will be wandering around in different places if you're someone who loves to travel to different places then definitely this is going to fetch you a lot of opportunities for you so today i've been talking about who's an ecologist is it going to be a demanding field what's going to be the salary package and what are the areas that you can enter through and what's the top five most important demanding career if you're going to be an ecologist in India so India's ecology diversity and what are the examination that you can go for there are many many examinations this is the most prominent one that you can go for so I believe that this video is helpful for all of you if you find this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to our channel by Technica if you have any questions regarding this one please put your questions in the comment section and we are definitely going to revert back to you thank you all of you